This is a Laza Music exclusive. Oh man, like I feel like I'm one of the most diverse artists in the game, you know what I'm saying? So basically as far as what Ed Sheeran and Ross is concerned and me, um, basically, you know, I've always been a fan of alternative rock. And honestly, before any big people went hip hop ever embraced me, Good Charlotte, Patrick Stump, and Fall Out Boy, those were the first famous people to ever like take notice to my music. And so with that being said, I got a lot of influences that relate to Ed Sheeran. Me and him are the same age. We both grinding. We both out here getting it, trying to make classic music. And uh, we got a mutual friend that knows, you know what I'm saying, how similar we are. So he wanted us to meet. Uh, shout out my homie Jason Davis, man. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, you know, he introduced us. And me and Ed both are a fan of each other's music. So when we met, it was a, a smooth thing. And uh, one of the big things that he wanted to do in his young life like me as well, was to meet Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? So I introduced him, and Ross just really embraced him, you know what I'm saying, like a true boss would, so it just worked out smooth. He's been working with Rocky Fresh on the music, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, man, you'll see something special coming. That's all I can see. Yeah. What's good? It's Rocky Fresh checking in, representing that double MG, that Atlantic life. You are rocking with lots of music. Make sure you get in tune with me. Young Superman OG, double MG, the hottest since the ROC. I got my niggas rolling, wondering what the plan gon' be. I told them focus on the future and don't do shit free. Y'all gon' watch me turn boredom to a billion. Stack it to the heavens, leave a blessing for the children. I'ma be the reason why my grandkids say we got family money. Made a cool meal, yet yeah, it's still the young and hungry.